Coming into the season, the ninth ranked class 2A Pequot Lakes girls basketball team knew there would be high expectations this year, especially since they made it to the state tournament last year. Taylor Archer has more with the Patriots. An 8-1 record is only a small step taken in the direction of the type of season the Patriots want to have this year. But their drive has made them out to be a tough competitor for other teams. I think when we play teams, they're extra aggressive on us, especially with us winning a lot of our games now and beating teams by 20 points. It's a big target on our backs. And it is still a young season, but the Patriots are focused on again making it to the state tournament. I think we always have high expectations for ourselves every season, and I think every year our, our goal is to go to state. So this year, same thing, our goal is to make it to the state tournament, and this year we'd really like to actually compete at the state tournament. I think in the past couple of years we've gone, we've been eliminated the first round, so this year we want not actually just go to the state tournament, but really compete at the state tournament and do well. While five players scored in the double digits in last night's game against Purim, it is this team's ability to play unselfishly that will help them go far. At the end of the day, it's, it's a win's a win, it doesn't really matter who scores the points or you know who gets the most rebounds or who gets what. This is one of my most unselfish teams that I've had in the past few years, so um, I think that's really good. They're just not so worried about points. You know, they're they're more worried about the putting the W up on the board. Besides their physical strengths, the Patriots rely mostly on their team chemistry. We're very quick and we move the ball really well. We have good team chemistry and we all um, work together to score points. And scoring points hasn't been a challenge yet for the team this season. In Pequa Lakes, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.